At a 97 overall, Connor McDavid is the highest overall in NHL 23, and clearly, he's the best player in the league. At the beginning of the season, in 487 games, McDavid's accumulated 239 goals, 458 assists, and 697 points. But today, we're going to do something that everyone thought would be impossible. We're breaking Wayne Gretzky's point record. There's only one way we can do that. Connor McDavid, I need you to play every single minute of every single game for the rest of your career. So you're playing on the first line, the second line, the third line, and the fourth line. We're going to need higher than 99 endurance. With season number one the books, Edmonton's going to be finishing with a disappointing 48-28-6 and six record number third in the entire league. You might be wondering why is that disappointing? Connor McDavid's on the first, second, third, and fourth line. This team should win every game. And it's safe to say McDavid's definitely not going to be disappointing. He's picking up 83 goals and 168 assists for 251 points, a slower season from him. But considering all that, he was only plus 21. I understand that this guy's playing every single minute, but only plus 21? I'm expecting a bit more. And I think it's a big shock here, but McDavid's also going to be leading the entire league in scoring. I don't think anyone really saw one coming. Even though McDavid's playing every single minute in the postseason, that's not going to be helping the Edmonton Oilers too much, and they're falling in the second round to the Vancouver Canucks. The current Vancouver Canucks. It was safe to say Connor McDavid definitely did his thing in the postseason. In 13 games, he's going to be picking up 13 goals and 19 assists for 32 points. And with the season Connor McDavid just had, he's entering the record books. He's going to finish fifth all time for most goals in a single season. Looking at assists, McDavid's going to be breaking Gretzky's single season record with 168. And looking at points, McDavid's going to be shattering that record with 251 points. That's going to be 36 more points than Wayne Gretzky had. But to think it took Connor McDavid playing every single minute of every single game just to get 36 points over Wayne Gretzky in a single season? Nah, Gretzky was built different. So I'm not going to go over these awards every single season because they'd get really repetitive. And the reason for that, every single season for the rest of this video, Connor McDavid is going to be winning these exact same awards. So if we already know he's going to be winning these awards, we don't need to check him out. Entering season number two, McDavid's up to a 98 overall. And after his fantastic performance last season, McDavid's up to 948 points. And although we're a long ways away, if McDavid continues at this pace, we're going to be breaking Gretzky's record sooner than later. Before we get into this season though, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to pass the New York Rangers and YouTube subscribers, and I won't be able to do that if you don't subscribe. So subscribe, turn notifications on, and help me pass the Rangers. Edmonton's disappointed me a bit this season, finishing with a 44-38 record, but luckily they're still making the playoffs as they're finishing fifth in the entire league. And McDavid, he's having a slower season, but I'm expecting way more than this. 69 goals, 140 assists, 209 points. You should be ashamed of this production. In the postseason, Edmonton's not going to be doing too much as they're falling to the Anaheim Ducks in seven games, while Florida, they're going to go on to hoist the Stanley Cup. Although Edmonton's not doing too much, McDavid's looking all right, picking up 15 points in seven games. Originally, I was going to show you guys every single time McDavid entered the top five in a single season for goals, assists, or points. But I guess I won't be showing you guys that. NHL 23 never considered somebody like McDavid playing every single minute. So after he enters the top five once in goals, assists, or points, he can enter it again. He picked up 209 points last season, and that's should have put him fourth all time for single season points. This season's not going to register in the record book, so we're not going to be able to track all these kind of stats. This is just an absolute disappointment on EA's part. Entering year three, Edmonton has something that they haven't had in many years, a ton of forward depth. We have guys like Evander Kane and Zach Hyman on the third line. Offensively, this team's elite. And with McDavid already at 1,100 points, Gretzky's record's just around the corner. Once again, Edmonton's going to be having a very mid-season where they're finishing 11th in the entire league, while Connor McDavid, he's not looking mid whatsoever. 77 goals, 168 assists, a new single season record and 245 goals keep doing your thing and with those 245 points mcdavid's officially cracked the 1400 point mark but it really doesn't matter what mcdavid does because this edmonton team is full of a bunch of frauds and they're gonna be following in the first round once again to the seattle kraken like usual mcdavid's gonna do everything he can three goals 12 assists 15 points in six games but to me this is such a weird number to look at because he had 15 points in six games he was borderline averaging three points a game in the postseason but he was also minus seven okay so i just thought this was really funny jordan binnington's taking home the vesna this calm cool collected goalie that hasn't done anything stupid in the past couple days is taking home the Vesna. Yes, very calm, cool, and collected. Hasn't done anything controversial in like what, like 24 hours? Not real talk. What are you doing? Play hockey. Focus on stopping the puck. Ignore all the other crap. So at this point, I already know McDavid's going to be putting up great regular season numbers, but can we do something in the postseason? Because I was expecting us to have at least two Stanley Cups by now. So although the team's looking great in the regular season, we've seen this before. The Edmonton Oilers, they're fourth in the league with a 50-27-5 record. That doesn't mean too much when it comes to the postseason. And McDavid, a great season from him. That should be no surprise. 61 goals, 164 assists, 225 points. And that's moving him up to 1,627 points. He was also able to crack 1,000 assists this season and is only two away from 
1100. Edmonton was looking good in the postseason, but there was one problem. They ran into the greatest franchise of all time, the St. Louis Blues. Nothing they can do about that. And with an elite Jordan Bennington in between the pipes, I'm amazed Edmonton was able to take one game away from these guys. Okay, I take back everything I said. Connor McDavid, I feel so bad for you. In 15 games, he picked up 12 goals, 34 assists for 46 points. This man averaged three points a game and fell in the conference finals. That's a tough look for this Edmonton Oilers team. So I knew this was a great season for Connor McDavid, but I didn't realize it was record breaking. He's going to be breaking Wayne Gretzky's franchise record in assists. And in that same season, he's going to be breaking Wayne Gretzky's single game points record. He's pot in nine. McDavid picked up nine points in a single game. Yeah, the dude's built different. But we're going to see what McDavid's truly made of this season because that fourth line's looking absolutely cooked. Luckily, they got that plus five overall boost. Because without that, this team ain't it. I feel like I should also mention McDavid just secured a bag, 18.8 million per year for the next six seasons. And considering he's putting up 200 points a year, I would say that's a bit of a steal. Edmonton's gonna be looking great once again this season as they're finishing six with a 44 30 and 8 record. And McDavid, a slower year for him, only 223 points, 78 goals, 145 assists, absolutely despicable. But this season is gonna have McDavid putting himself at 1,850 points. So now he's give or take a thousand points away from Wayne Gretzky. I think it's what, a thousand and seven points now? somewhere around there. What I didn't realize was the run this team made in the postseason last year was just a sign for what's to come. And Edmonton, they were locked in this year, and so was Connor McDavid. They're making it all the way to the Stanley Cup final, but sadly, they're going to fall through the Toronto Maple Leafs. And Connor McDavid, 67 points. 67 points in a single postseason, nine game winning goals, and he was plus zero. This dude had 67 points and was plus zero. Interesting. With this season in the book, McDavid's got a few more records. He's now the all-time points leader for the Edmonton Oilers, and he's also the all-time goal leader. And on top of those franchise records, McDavid's moved into third all-time in assists. So earlier in the video, I was talking about how great the depth on the Edmonton Oilers is. Yeah, now we're back to the regular Edmonton Oilers that has no depth. Like usual, Edmonton's looking great and they're going to be finishing second overall in the entire league. While McDavid, he's doing something similar, 216 points, but he's picking up a career-high 88 goals this season. But sadly, that's going to be four shy of breaking Wayne Gretzky's goal record. But who cares about the goal record because McDavid's now in the 2,000 point club and we're only a handful of seasons away. So with Edmonton finishing second in the entire league we already know this team's going to go on a deep postseason run chicago's not going to be an issue the next team they play isn't going to be an issue mcdavid picked up 60 points in the postseason last year imagine what he's going to do this time around yeah so he's going to get swept in the first round and then only pick up nine assists for nine points scoring zero goals but we're going to ignore what happened in the postseason because mcdavid continues to climb the ranks and there's only one man ahead of him in all-time points and that's wayne gretzky and that's the guy we're chasing he's also second all-time in assists keep doing your thing big dog the edmonton oilers continue to roll through the regular season as they're finishing six overall while Connor McDavid's picking up 221 points and those 221 are moving him up to 2,287 points and he's also cracking 1,500 assists in the process. However in the postseason we know what always happens to this Oilers team they're gonna fold and they're falling in the second round to the Vancouver Canucks but that's not gonna be due to McDavid he's picking up 30 points in 11 games he was also plus 14 so I don't really know who is holding this team back. At 32 years old it's finally happened McDavid's starting to decline he's dropped to a 96 overall. McDavid doesn't need too many more seasons to to break Gretzky's point record. But if he declines at a really quick rate, then we might be in trouble. And the regular season success of the Oilers isn't a good sign for this as they're finishing 12th overall in the entire league with a 43, 32, and 7 record. Now I'm starting to get a bit nervous. And McDavid, you're only picking up 204 points this season. As long as he doesn't drop below 200 points this season, then we'll be all right. But let's keep it a thousand here. Why am I really worried? He's at 2,491 points. Even if he averages 150 points for the next four years, he'll break the record. Just keep hustling out there, my guy. And just like that, he's getting swept in the second round of the postseason. That's not really ideal, but considering you were 12th overall in the entire league, I'm amazed you got out of the first round. The decline of Connor McDavid's continuing this season. He's dropping to a 94 overall, but that's not slowing the Edmonton Oilers down. They're bouncing back this season, fifth in the entire league with a 50, 27, and five record. And McDavid, he's also bouncing back. Seven 77 goals, 153 assists, 230 points, prime McDavid's back. And not only is the 230 points the best season McDavid's had in a minute, but that's moved him to 2,721 points, and he's going to be breaking Gretzky's point record next season, as long as he doesn't retire. And why would he? In the final postseason of the video, Connor McDavid, he's going to unfortunately go without winning a Stanley Cup, as he's going to be falling to the Nashville Predators in six games. Connor McDavid was playing on every single line for the Edmonton Oilers. This dude played every single minute, and they still couldn't
couldn't win a Stanley Cup. Now this franchise is just cursed. And I think the most surprising thing about all this, in 16 games, yeah, McDavid's picking up 42 points, but he actually didn't lead all postseason scores. He finished second. McDavid, with this season in the books, we've officially broken Wayne Gretzky's goal record. But so is Austin Matthews and so is Alexander Ovechkin, so not really too much to celebrate there. But there is one thing to celebrate, and that's you being 136 points away from tying Wayne Gretzky's point record. A record that was seen to be untouchable is about to be passed. Okay, this might not be the best time to mention this, but McDavid's dropped to a 93 overall and now has top six potential. You're telling me you have to take his franchise potential away the season he's about to break the all-time point record. You couldn't have just waited one more year. Now that's just straight disrespectful. Halfway through the season, McDavid's doing his usual thing and he's picked up 109 points and that's going to put him 27 points away from breaking the all-time point record. So when McDavid's about to break that point record, we'll be jumping into the game to watch him do it. Unless something incredibly stupid happens, like McDavid being six points away and then in a Nashville Predators game, they go on to score six goals and defeat Nashville six to three and McDavid somehow picks up six points in that game. Oh, that's exactly what happened. That's pretty interesting. McDavid was six points away from breaking Wayne Gretzky's point record and this dude went on to pick up six six points and a 6-3 win against Nashville. Why would he pick up a random six point game against Nashville? Out of every game for him to pick up a six point night, he does it in the one I simulate. I was simulating that game to go to the next one, assuming he would pick up three or four points, not six points in a 6-3 win. I'm in Spain, but the S is silent. 